My name is Emily Atterard and I live in Melton. Specialist Hoops is a disability inclusion program for both children and adults. I'm the founder of Specialist Hoops itself. We started off in 2017 with a one day program. We had 22 kids from memory. Um, within that, uh, we have I think 10 or 11 of those people who still come to us today. I started off as a referee and within that there was um, a young boy who was eight. Um, he would turn up to basketball every week, he didn't want to jump on the court, but he would also wear um, the earmuffs, you know, the noise cancelling ones, and he was too afraid to turn them off, or take them off and play. So I said to him, um, he, I, I said to him, you can leave them on. And then I looked around the next week and there was in one team, six or seven kids who had either Down syndrome or Asperger's or um, different forms of autism. They had nowhere to go. They didn't fit in as such to a normal team. It was going to be a lot harder for them to um, be able to participate and feel included and safe. And that's where the idea came around where we're hoping to um, provide more opportunities through tournaments and have other opportunities and programs for people with disabilities to um, participate in within the city of Melton. But Melton specifically needed a program for kids with, and adults with disabilities to be able to have that opportunity to play sport, feel included and go out there, try new things. Um, be involved within the community, volunteer, because you learn so much just being out in the community and the rewards you get from volunteering and um, it doesn't just bring you the credits of, oh, yes I volunteer here, yes I volunteer there, but you make so many lifetime friends and you've got people who really stand by you. Specialist Hoops has definitely brought in um, quite a few awards across the field and it's definitely had um, an impact within uh, showing the community that, that we are here for them. I know uh, quite a few people who have been through young communities and um, they've definitely been there for a lot of people and they provide that space and that safe place for a lot of people. Mm -hmm.